Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine, taking proper care. Welcome back to your EVS class students. Today we will be doing chapter number 10 that is fresh from the feed. The food that we are eating, our lunch, breakfast, dinner, the yummy dishes that we eat, from where do we get that food? The fruits, the vegetables, who brings those fruits and vegetables to our home? You will say, my father, my mother, but who grows those fruits and vegetables? The farmers. India is a country of farmers. Agriculture is the main occupation of the people of India. So, the food items that we eat comes from the fields. Now, what is agriculture? It includes the cultivation of land, livestock rearing and fishing. You all know farmers cultivate the land and they grow crops to feed the people. If there will be no farmers, if the farmers will not grow the crops, then from where we will get the food? So, our farmers are set as the heroes because they work day and night to provide food to us. Do you all know there are two kinds of crops? Harif crops are the ones the seeds of which are sown in summer and it is harvested in winter. Example, rice, jute, maize, cotton, etc. Now, second one is rabi crops. Now, what are rabi crops? The, the seeds that are sown in winter and are harvested in summer is known as rabi crops. So, these were the two different types of crops. That is kharif crops and rabi crops. Now, examples of rabi crops are wheat, oats, mustard, almond, broccoli, etc. Now, we will study how a plant grows from a small seed. How a plant grows. Firstly, we, can, we there is a very small tiny seed. And from that tiny seed, you all know the seed is under the ground. From that tiny seed, as we are giving proper water to it, proper sunlight, a small sprouts come out and from that sprout, slowly, slowly, the shoot rises above the ground and the roots inside the ground. And as it gets proper water and proper sunlight, the plant is grown. And after many years from that small plant, the tree is grown. So, this is known as germination of seed. Germination means how from a small seed a tiny plant is grown. Germination means to grow. The different types of seeds need different amount of water to grow. Now, you can also grow a plant at home. How? Firstly, you have to take one flower pot. Then from in that flower pot, you have to put the soil. Then you can put the seeds in that flower pot. You have to give it proper water and proper sunlight. Then you can see that after few days, a small plant will be grown. Students, you all can try this at home. Now, what is irrigation? Irrigation means providing proper water to the crop. It means supplying proper amount of water to the crops. Sufficient and regular supply of water is necessary for the growth of crops. But we have to take care that the seeds do not get washed off due to the excessive irrigation. So we have to take care of this that the seeds are not washed off. Now, the seeds also need a proper fertilizers. Fertilizers are added to the soil and even it are sprayed on the leaves. Fertilizers provide nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, 
potassium calcium etc to the plants so it is also very important now after all this the grains are when the crops are ready then the grains are separated from their husk the process is known as winnowing the farmer sorts cleans and packs the crops in sacks the crops are then taken to the market now how are they taken to the market the crops are taken in large trucks to the market and the farmers those who have very less supply of crops they take the crops in a small cart so this is all about how the crops from the field are taken to the market how we how we get the food that we eat the from that small seed how a plant is grown i hope students you all have understood the chapter just go through the chapter students read the chapter thank you students stay home be safe